This morning on Today Food, we have Easter dinner on our minds. Of course, ham is not only a popular and traditional Easter dish, it's also very versatile. You can eat it at breakfast, lunch, dinner. So this morning, we have a flavorful ham recipe and an easy and quick way to use the leftovers. If you have any, all this courtesy of Mr. Adam Richmond. Good morning again to you. Good morning again We've to you. We've had you on ice. We've had you all over this morning. We've had you with Devin Campbell. I know, for okay, real. Let's go. All right, all right, really this, simply, is we, this is where we start. This is flavor bomb ham. So naturally, being, being a Jewish kid, this isn't something that I ate a lot growing up, but it's <laughs> flavors that I definitely have come to appreciate when any time I have pork. So we have maple, pineapple juice, some cola. We're going to use orange zest. That's just, ah. you can just shave it up. That's just the little orangey bit there that has all okay. the oil. Dijon. We have some uh, cloves, some cinnamon, some ginger, and um, some red pepper flake. Easy so, enough. Easy enough. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I may, so you want to actually slightly score the skin you want to make a nice diamond pattern don't go too far but what that's going to do is create all those beautiful little uh, bits to sort of create a nice texture that's on the surface they do that. exactly right and you can even you make a small hole mm -hmm. and these are the cloves you could actually just puncture and stud the entire surface with the cloves you put you them all it. along the little the exactly right there. you could actually just punch it right through the surface of okay. the skin of the turkey Easy enough. so then we're going to make the sauce so we would basically put this turkey Inside um, aluminum foil it's lined dish. Ham, right? It is still a ham. A tur let's say turkey. Did you say turkey? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's my Judaica coming through. Okay, so we have some maple syrup. We're going to put in our cola. Cola. Cola, exactly right. Because oh, it smells kind of sweet. Okay. Exactly. It's cola because there are no name brands in this cooking segment, my love. <laughs> Pineapple juice, shout out to Team Porcosaurus from Memphis and May who taught me that. A little bit. <laughs> Um, of some some sugar, we have our Dijon, Dijon. mustard. Exactly right. Can I be honest with you. Is yes, that, Dylan. Did you know about cola on a ham? I'd never heard of that. If, um, I, I, it makes sense with the sweetness. It does. Make Absolutely, sense. and yeah. also the carbonation, the carboxylic acid helps break the stuff down. My grandmother used That's this ginger ale on her brisket. The carbo who? No, exactly kidding. right. Exactly. Carbo what? No carbs. All right. And then we have all of our dry <laughs> spices. We have our zest. We're gonna mix this in. Let this all incorporate. It smells so good. I'm glad you like it. So yeah. then, once obviously we're gonna reduce it, let it come to a much more thick, syrupy consistency. It gets glazed. Kind of like that. Exactly yeah. like that. Okay. So we're gonna glaze. The ham like this. We're going to then put it back in the oven for its final 20 minutes. We're going to have it uncovered. Initially? initially, we're going to let it go. I think roughly you want to think about mm, 15 minutes a pound. You could actually go to up to an hour a pound, depending upon the bone in okay. the size. But I always say trust your butcher when okay. it comes down to the cooking time. Okay. Um, it could be an hour per pound. Anyway, so then you're going to have your turkey left over. So this is my Still sort ham. of quick. Your ham Still <laughs> ham. It's just I'm rejecting the ham. My body is rejecting the ham. Okay, so we're really quickly we have I don't know what we so have. So this here. is essentially my, my version of easy pasta gricia, a okay. version of pasta amatriciana. So mm. we have um, fava beans, garlic, onion, a little bit of pecorino romano, of uh, salt, pepper, olive oil. Okay. Um, so we have our ham bits that have crisped up in a pan. We're going to actually just move them. We want to keep that little lovely, lovely brown stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just remove them from the heat. We can just put them all right here in front because we want to actually keep that ham fat the in the stuff. bottom. Exactly. You put the other stuff in the in the Exactly skillet. right. So then what we'll do is we'll add our pasta mm -hmm. right to the ham. A little bit of the pasta starchy water too. You do want some of the water. You do indeed. Not necessarily as sloppily as I added That's it, fine. but They're you could definitely do it. That's okay. It's okay. It's a today show. We're gonna be all had, right. We have 25 <laughs> seconds. How do we make this? All right. Work? So basically, mix everything in. We want to bring the onions up to temperature. And honestly, that's the nice thing about this. You could just mix it all together. The garlic, the onions. You could actually want to do the garlic right onions there in first. The same little pot. Mix it all together. And it's then so finally, delicious. it's it's sort of the white version of pasta amatriciana. Mm -hmm. um, so it's ham, pecorino, right. fava, the mm. taste of Rome in the spring. Mm, that's really good. It's not so great. Good. Thank you so much. No worries. We should mention, go to today.com slash food to get this recipe and so many more. We're back in a moment, but first, this is Today. It's Ham. On NBC. Ham. <laughs> Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.